I want to address uh, today's announcement by Rogers Communications and Shaw Industries, who announced a proposed merger which has significant implications for Alberta's economy. Obviously, their proposal is subject to assessment and approval by fed federal regulatory agencies, particularly the Competition Bureau and the Canadian Radio and Television Commission. We expect those bodies to carefully review the proposed merger and to ensure that it is in the best interests of consumers and the Canadian and Alberta economies. Yesterday, I spoke at length to Rogers CEO Joe Natale and Shaw CEO Brad Shaw about the proposed merger. Rogers has made a number of positive commitments to increase jobs, service and investment in Alberta if this goes through. If the proposal is approved, we would hold Rogers to those commitments as they would be good news for Alberta's economy. The plan outlined by Rogers and Shaw would make significant net job growth in Alberta, especially in high paying, high tech jobs. This would further diversify our economy and build on recent major breakthroughs in Alberta's high tech sector like the Infosys expansion into Calgary announced just last week, uh, which will create up to 2,000 great new jobs over the next three years. That's on top of a record year for venture capital investments and successful tech startup growth. Uh, the merger of uh, proposed merger of TELUS and Rogers also includes a commitment to significant expansion of 5G high-speed internet coverage across the province, which is good news for Alberta's rural, remote, and Indigenous communities, plus their local economies. Rogers has committed to make Calgary the company's Western headquarters, and they've committed to creating 3,000 net new jobs in the West, about 60%, or 1,800 of those net new jobs, right here in Alberta. Most importantly, about 500 of those new jobs would be located here in Calgary at Rogers proposed new National Center for Technology and Engineering uh, Excellence, which uh, would be a big boost to our goal of making Alberta a hub for digital innovation, especially in the fast growing wireless and telecommunications industries. Founded in Edmonton in 1966, I think it was more specifically Sherwood Park, by the late great uh, entrepreneur J.R. Shaw. Shaw Industries is a made in Alberta success story that has been part of our community for decades. So obviously, we would strongly prefer that Rogers locate its national head office in Alberta. But by choosing Calgary as the home for this new National Center for Technology and en Engineering Excellence, it's further proof that Alberta's recovery plan is working and our economy is diversifying. We're also pleased to learn of the merged company's plan to expand Rogers' relationship with the University of Calgary and to maintain Shaw's strong support for local charities and community groups uh, with, I think, an ongoing minimum $40 million support for those groups and to support Indigenous-owned and operated internet service providers. The government of Alberta will closely monitor Rod Rogers' regulatory filings, and we will likely make submissions to the regulatory agencies to defend the best interests of our economy and our consumers. In particular, we'll seek to have the commitments that have been made to increased employment and investment, we will seek to have those made as a condition of federal regulatory approval. If the proposed tr transaction is approved, Alberta's government will work closely with Rogers to ensure that the company keeps its commitment to a significant net increase in employment and in wireless infrastructure for rural, remote and Indigenous communities. We'll also work with Rogers to continue expanding investment and employment in Alberta in the years to come. And I appreciated my discussion with CEO Joe Natale, who is very bullish about uh, the future for Alberta and the prospect of additional investment here. With the country's lowest taxes, lightest regulatory burden, youngest and best educated workforce, high quality of life and low cost of living, we believe there is a powerful case for this merged national uh, telecom leader to continue expanding its presence here in Alberta. Today's, today's announcement 
follows on TELUS's 2019 announcement of its intention to invest $16 billion in Alberta over five years, supporting the hiring of 5,000 Albertans, including a focus on wireless applications in the delivery of health care and in uh, growing the agricultural sector. So taken together, these investments would strengthen Alberta's place in the digital economy, diversifying our economy with more high-paying jobs.